But if you've been out mowing and you've hit an obstacle, SIP's DDSS system is designed to prevent expensive and preventative damage going right through your SIP mower. In this video we're going to give you instructions on how to replace the shear pins so you can get back to work as quickly as possible. Firstly raise the cutter bar cover and guard and then check the discs and locate the damaged one. Use the blade change tool to lock the discs in place so they do not rotate during the change. Firstly unbolt the disc cover and then unbolt the nut securing the disc in place. Remove the mower disc unit with the module from the drive shaft. And use a punch to remove the damaged shear pins. To begin assembly, lubricate the module components and replace the module so it's aligned with the holes for the shear pins. Move the disc assembly into position and then position the repaired cutting disc at an angle of 90 degrees to the disc right next to it. Replace the large spring washer and top nut, then insert the blade change tool to lock the discs in place so they don't rotate during reassembly. Tighten and torque the top nut to 300 newton meters. Apply thread locker to the cover bolts and then adjust the cover of the cutting disc and tighten the bolts, torquing them up to 72 newton meters. Use the blade replacement tool to insert new blades before checking the rotation on the mowing discs. Now your SIP mower should be ready to go back to work.